If you know the world of the black guns or the high technology firearms, Sabre Defense Industries is obviously what, if you were to equate it in the automotive field, you'd have to say Rolls Royce or custom Maserati because it's that kind of an industry and that's that kind of a reputation with the people from Sabre Defense. Joining me is David, who is the sales and direct sales and marketing director for Sabre Defense Industries. David, why does, let's begin with the basics, why does Sabre have such a reputation as super quality? Uh, probably comes down from our uh, fact of our military contracting experience, our ISO certifications. Uh, where mil spec operates in a wide range of tolerances, we operate in a very narrow part of it. But you can only do that if you manufacture the right. Mm -hmm. Instead of where you buy parts from different places and put and the gun push together, them all together, we are actually the manufacturer. So we manufacture about 80 to 85 percent of the rifle in house in Nashville, Tennessee. We were talking off camera a little bit about the number of models and uh, the, the variant, you know, various configurations. How many? It's overwhelming. Uh, about 96 different models. Uh, there's 16 different rifles, but they come in different configurations for different shooters. We're trying to think of the shooter and the situations that they would go through. So, for example, we do a one in seven twist uh, on, uh, on different barrel lengths. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's different shooters, we're going to use that heavier ammo. Or they'll use a one in nine for the lighter, mm -hmm. lighter uh, ammo. And one in nine chrome lined or not chrome lined as well. And all of our stainless barrels are in the one in eight. Let's talk about some of the new innovations that are being introduced here at the SHOT Show, you know, that are, are coming out of Sabre that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna watch close, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Lisa? <laughs> One of our uh, one of our first uh, new models for this year is the M5 Tactical, okay. and uh, yes, it's legal. Okay. Uh, now, it, uh, and why is it legal? It's Let's 16 start with. inches. It I is. Know, it's an it doesn't illusion. look like it though. No, it it looks like. Wait a minute. Uh oh, you're not supposed to have one of those. Right. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. It is a uh, 14 and a half inch uh, barrel with an extended A2 flash hider, permanently attached. Uh, it has a mid-length gas system on it. So your sight radius is a lot further out. You get a longer uh, handguard. Mm -hmm. So plus you get a smoother action with it as well. Uh, this rifle is complete with the 552 EOTech on it. Okay. Uh, and chips and our elite tactical carry case has been very popular at the show. They keep rubbing off. Uh, they keep having to hold it <laughs> up because they're so dry out here. Now, when this one was originally uh, introduced, was this introduced, you know, as a law enforcement type weapon, and then it became then the, the commercial version? No, nope, it's a commercial version. It's a commercial version. Commercial so, you, version. so start to finish, start to cradle finish. to grave. This was designed. Wait a minute. Design. This is what the market needs. That's exactly right. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. Now to go to one of the other uh, sides of it. Now this is not, uh, it's not n very new for us, right. but it's a newer concept of what we're going with it. It is, uh, this is a uh, uh, injection molded plastic or polymer receiver on the bottom. So it's a five and a half pound rifle, you can feel. Whoa. Now if I'm going from one end. Wait a minute, wait, wait, whoa, yeah. there's nothing to it. Yeah. There's nothing to it. And the durability factor uh, obviously absolutely. still right there. Okay, all right. So there's one. Now you step then, it up. Now you step it up a notch. Yeah, we're going back oh, up. Oh yeah, here we go. So, uh -huh. and this is our competition style of rifle. Uh, basically, what we've done on that, because we are shooters, mm -hmm. uh, as most people know from free gun competitions and where they see and us. The and the Colorado, and the Colorado multi gun. Thank matches, you. Let's get a little plug in for you guys. Rocky Mountain three gun. Right, the Johnson there you go. Three gun. Uh -huh. That's correct. Uh, we're sponsors, and we're not just sponsors that send prizes, to, you know, prizes for the table. Right. We're actual shooters that actually attend the events and are active within the industry as well. So we came up with a concept on this, to where we've run into a lot of places where you've got a lot of long-range targets, and that's where I'm going to need the good glass. I'm going to yeah. need the good glass. Absolutely, especially when you're uh, Tennessee guys like we are. Yep. We don't get a lot of long-range shots, and then we go out to Colorado. And you go, oh, I have to shoot what? How sure. far out? Yeah. Sure. So we've got our long-range optics here. But simply, we come in and then all of a sudden have a short range target. So you roll your elbow and boom. And the, the idea yeah, is that you don't have to move your head and pick it up and adjust and lose that sight picture. You Absolutely. simply roll into. Simply just roll your elbow and you're on Roll arms. into the sight picture. Mm -hmm. And whose glass are we using here? Uh, this is a Louisville. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And that rifle does not ship with the scope. No. That's so whatever glass you're comfortable whatever with. Whatever glass you're comfortable you with. You can outfit it accordingly. That's correct. Okay. And then, and then we move up to the big boy toy. Here. Finally, yes, uh -huh. this is our precision marksman's rifle. Again, we developed this rifle with the precision marksman in mind. Complete package rifle in. This one does ship with the Leopold uh, Mark IV, which is the uh, uh, the 20 by 50, six and a half. Now, this is an amazing scope. Super, super. I was going to say super, bipods. super accurate. Mm -hmm. Who's the bipod? 
Uh, that's a Harris Bipod. That's a Harris Bipod. I thought mm -hmm. I recognized that. That's a Harris Bipod with the Samson well, we'll rails when on you, it. When, you, when you're going for the best, you want the best components. Absolutely. Period. So as a package then, Harris Bipod, loophole glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the Samson uh, uh, handrails on there. Of course, our 410 stainless barrel. 410, Beautiful. I said, not 416. So this one basically has all the whistles and bells. The nice thing is it's been thought out pretty well in terms of the idea of, hey, what am I going to need? Well, you don't have to worry about it. Sabre's taken care of it and put everything together. David, as we wrap this up, people would like more information about the fine line from Sabre Defense Industries. Where would you like them to go? Uh, they can see our new website, which has just came up right before the SHOT Show. How about uh, that for timing? www.sabredefense.com. That's S-A-B-R-E and Defense, D-E-F-E-N-C-E. -E. Right. Well, as you can see today, now you know why, indeed, they are the high end. They make a lot of different products, various configurations, various whistles and bells, what have you. But if you're looking for the super high quality end, the Sabre Defense Industries, they've been doing it right for a long time. Obviously for 2008 and beyond, they're doing it right again.